Welcome to the TV5 Vault, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. We hear plenty of stories of missing dogs and cats, but in this edition of the TV5 Vault, we're going back to 2007 and taking you to Hampton Township for a story of a missing pet that could have been a danger to the community. We have Lori Jane Gleha with more. A man with a missing alligator opened his wallet Thursday afternoon. A $50 reward up for grabs. I'm not going near it. For anyone who could find his misplaced pet. His gator named Wallet. It bites. Uh, if you get your hand near it, you're going to have a lot of teeth stuck in it. The runaway reptile left home for a walk on the wild side, leaving neighbors in Hampton Township wondering what would happen if they happened upon it. I think I better keep my pets inside. Owner Mark Schmidt says the rascally reptile already bit him once. I'm just healing up. That's three weeks ago. And I got my finger out before he closed his mouth. But a few brave beings like Larry Courier volunteered to come face to face with the vicious creature. I've handled the gator before. I know it's got a mean disposition, but with the net, of course, I had a little bit less to worry about. After hours of searching, my back is killing me. Schmidt spotted the reptile blending into the bottom of a swampy ditch. Courier lowered him down, and within minutes, up came Wallet. Looks like Schmidt won't be opening his wallet to pay the finder's fee. Instead, he has plans to make a few new wallets when his prized pet grows a little bit bigger. Interesting. Wow. I thought it was way bigger than what it looks like in that net. All right, so if there's a story that you would like for us to try to find for the TV5 vaults, Leave a comment below and thanks again for joining us for this edition of the TV5 Vaults. I'm Blake Keller. Until next time.